Good morning, my friends. I know I look a little ridiculous, but it's 47 degrees here in Florida, which probably sounds balmy to a lot of you. But when you have this much wetness in the air, the humidity that we have, it makes it a lot colder. Or at least that's what I tell myself. So I have my big furry hat on because I'm a little sweaty from the gym, you know? I don't want to catch my death of cold. So good morning. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about perfectionism and all or nothing thinking and procrastination. And what all three of those things have in common is it's just a baseline for fear. So, and I don't, and by fear, I mean for procrastination, you're just afraid of getting started or letting go. Perfectionism, you're definitely afraid of letting go. You keep perfecting and perfecting and perfecting and tweaking and tweaking until you've pretty much just outmaneuvered yourself. And all or nothing thinking, that's when I talk to people um, in Whole30 groups where they are eating kale and avocados and they're spot on on their nutrition and they're spot on on their exercise and they do that for a month or six months and then they fall out and they fall all the way out and then they binge eat and they don't do anything and so they do all the things right or they do none of the things right and that is also fear so those three types of thinking have fear in common and what I'd love for you to do is to just start asking yourself questions. And if you're like me, you have lots of voices in your head. So when you ask these questions, make sure that you are asking them to your highest self, not to your negative roommate, as they say in PHB, or your Debbie Downer. <laughs> but make sure that you're asking for your highest good. And so when you find yourself procrastinating, ask yourself, what are you afraid of? And it's a simple question. But if you sit and listen for a minute, you'll get an answer what you're afraid of. So let's say you're procrastinating and you say that you're, your answer that you're afraid of, um, you're afraid of going to the gym because what if people laugh at me? Or what if people look at me funny? That's a pretty easy one, right? So then you ask a Byron Katie question, which I will put these up in the group. But one of the first, the first Byron Katie question is, is it true? So you're procrastinating about working out because you're afraid people will laugh at you. Okay, because that's what you're afraid of. But if you ask yourself if that's true, nobody's going to laugh at you. Mostly there's going to be people in there that like high five you and say, hey, welcome. We're glad to have you here. At worst, you'll have somebody that's not a morning person who just doesn't really talk to you. And that has nothing to do with you. That has everything to do with them. So just by asking yourself these two questions, you can see that what you're thinking was was really just fear. So I don't know if that was a good example, but hopefully it was. Or let's take all or nothing thinking. So that is also fear because you keep yourself strapped in doing all the great things because you're afraid of not doing all the great things. And then when you fall off, you are just not intuitively um, or you're not in tune with yourself. And so you do, you eat the donuts and you lay on the couch and you do the Netflix binging and you do nothing because if you can't do it all, you don't want to do any. Well, my friends, that's about to change because you now know as a healthy person that 
there's some things you're going to do on a daily basis. But you can ask yourself while you're doing the Netflix Netflix binging, what am I afraid of? Maybe you're afraid to succeed. Maybe you're just sabotaging yourself. So you could go through that fear question, and you could probably list a few. And then after you list a few, ask yourself if it's true. And then see what answer you get with that. So this is becoming a long video now at this point. But I want you to get used to talking to yourself. Um, because it's not about the external stuff. It's not about the supplements. It's not about all the external stuff. It's about getting your insides figured out. It's about knowing how you tick. And once you figure those things out, it'll be so much easier to be a healthy person because you'll want to nurture yourself and you'll want to treat your body like a temple, not like a tent. So come with me. We'll do more of these things on a daily basis. And I hope that's helpful. If there's anything you would like me to talk about, please, please, please let me know because my dog just fell in the water. Um, because this, this whole Dosa Debbie thing is all for you. Uh, well, it's for me too, because I learn a lot, but I want to make it a place where you get some information that you need. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. Have a lovely day.